Welcome to Naris Technologies. Uh, I am Bangar Raju and in this video uh, I will demonstrate about uh, multi-threading in C sharp. So, what is this uh, multi-threading? So, before going to talk about multi-threading, um, let us just understand about multitasking. What is that actually? Windows operating system is a multitasking operating system. What is it? Capable of running more than one application at a time. See, I opened a notepad, I opened a Visual Studio command prompt and I am now opening a Google Chrome browser and I will just open a Windows Explorer. So, all, all these applications I am able to open at a time now. So, our operating system is a multitasking operating system first. So, how all these applications will run at a time? Operating system to execute all these particular programs internally will make use of a process. So, what is a process? A process is a component under the operating system or a process is a part of the operating system uh, responsible for executing a program. Every program to execute on your system, there will be a process. You can just watch in the task manager. Uh, just right click on the task bar and use the task manager option. And if you open the task manager, yes, in the task manager, you can just watch. You can just uh, see, have a look, processes and all these things are present for you. What is it? Each process is running one application. I opened a Google Chrome, I have window, Microsoft screen magnifier, notepad, a task manager opened, a Windows command processor, a Windows Explorer, all these things have been opened right now and all are executing at a time on our system and to execute all this particular application operating system is using the concept of the processes. Each process will execute one application and behind the screen there are so many background processes available. What are this background process? Background processes are nothing but uh, Windows services means operating system behind the screen will be running lot of applications uh, for us like what uh, like database engines, web servers, all these things will be running for you in the form of the Windows services. So, so many things will be running for you in the background process and all will come for you as a background services. You can see all these things, most of these particular things in the services window in the control panel administrator tools. You go to control panel under that administrator tools, under that you will find services. You double click on this, you can see the services there that are running for you in the background process. We call them as windows services. Okay, These are all background services and apart from this, we have the services, not the services, applications which are running for you in the foreground and to execute all these applications, there are processes. Each process is running one application, fine. Now, what do you have first? Operating system and under this operating system, we have a process and this process is running our applications, okay. Now, under the process, an application runs and to run the code inside the application, process will use a concept known as thread. What is a thread? Um, generally, thread means uh, they say it is a lightweight process, it is a lightweight process, but telling in a simple words, what I want to tell you is a thread is a unit which executes the code under an application. A thread is a unit which is going to execute the code under your application. So, every application has some logic in it and to execute that logic, this thread comes into picture and this thread will be responsible for executing the logic inside your application. And remember, every application by default has one thread to execute the logic and that is called as a main thread. So, every application is by default a single threaded model. So, what I am telling is every application by default contains one thread to execute the program and that is known as main thread. 
that is known as main thread. Every application by default contains one thread to execute the program and that is known as main thread. So, every program is by default single threaded model. By default it is a single threaded model. First, let me just show you uh, a thread inside the program. Let me write a simple program, a very simple program. I will call it as a thread demo using system class thread demo static void min console dot right line hello world. A very simple logic. Now, to execute this logic under the process there will be a thread under the process there will be a thread and that thread will run the logic now. Now, when I compile this code, thread demo, simple logic just prints as hello world, but internally there is a thread which is going to run this logic and we call that thread as a main thread. Okay? Just watch it. Huh? In place of this logic, I want to just write something different. What is it? Thread t is equals to thread dot current thread. What is this? Thread is a class and in this class, there is a static property called as current thread. When we call this property, it returns the reference of the current executing thread and right now I said you every program by default has one thread to run the code and that thread reference you are going to get. So, T refers to the executing thread. I am going to set a name to the thread now. How do you set T dot name? There is a name property is equals to my thread something. I am just giving some name like this or otherwise let us give the name as main thread and then I am writing console dot right line current executing thread is plus thread dot current thread dot name. So, we are given a name for this and that name is going to be printed by default thread does not have any name by default thread does not have any name. So, I am just giving a name and now I am printing the name back here. So, now it is going to print the name what we associated to it. I am getting an error. Why am I getting an error? The reason for getting an error is we use the thread here. We have just used the thread here uh, the thread class and this thread class is present under the namespace system dot threading this is the reason why you are getting the error. We did not import that namespace. Let us import it using system dot threading and you can see now, now the code is compiled successfully and then thread demo current executing thread is main thread and the name is printed for you here. So, I am trying to show you there is a thread which is going to run inside the program and that thread is called main thread, but it does not have any name. My explicitly given a name for it called as main thread. So, this is a thread which runs for you inside the program. Okay? And what I am telling is by default every program is single threaded. Every application by default contains one thread to execute the program and that is known as main thread. So, every program is by default single threaded it is a single threaded application. And what is the drawback in a single threaded application is in a single threaded application or a single threaded model the single thread in the program only will run all the logic present inside the program. Suppose in your class if at all you are defining some 3 or 4 methods and calling those particular methods from the main method who will execute all these methods means main who will execute all these particular methods means main main thread. The main thread is now responsible for executing all these particular methods. So, what the main thread does? It will execute one by one method 
that is explicitly called inside the program. Let me show you. I am just making some modifications in the code here. So, let me write some methods static void test 1 for int i is equals to 1 i less than or equal to 100 i plus plus console dot right line test 1 plus i 2 3 same logic but three different methods I am writing and these three methods are static right now because they are static I can directly call in the main if they are non static I should create an instance otherwise I can directly call. So, now I am going to call these three methods from the main now straight away I can call test 1. test 2, test 3, yeah, calling all the 3 methods. Now, come here and recompile your code and execute the things. Yes, watch the output. So, test 1 started the execution, executing completely until 100. Then test 2 started the execution printed from 1 to 100 and then test 3 started the execution and printing from 1 to 100. So, by default every program is single threaded and executes all the code in the program one after the other. See right now we have 3 methods and all the 3 methods got executed one after the other. So, what is the drawback in the approach? The drawback in the approach is in a single threaded model, the actions are completed one after the other, completing the first then only it will go to second action, after completing the second then only it will go to third action. But in this process, suppose, for suppose, if any method is taking more than the expected time, what is that? Suppose, we are just writing a simple code for printing 1 to 100, but in method 2, I am writing some logic to perform a database operation. Now, what happened in this, my method is a connecting to a database and a trying to load or perform some action on the database and come back. But unfortunately, the database is busy not responding. So, my method is waiting there for the database to respond, it has taken some time okay? and after some time, the database got responded. So, communication happened came back. But just understand, suppose the database has taken 10 seconds to respond or 15 seconds to respond. The 10 seconds, 15 seconds, the method 2 is getting delayed there. What is it getting delayed? Yes, it will go to the database waiting for the database to respond for 10 to 15 seconds and afterwards the database responded and came back. But you wasted some 10 to 15 seconds of time idly at the database. Why? Because when the database is not responding, you are idly waiting there without doing any work. And until that method execution is completed, the next method, which method test 3 will not execute? Because it is a sequential execution. The execution takes place one after the other. Okay? Right now, we are not performing any database operation here. We did not perform any database operation. So, to understand the concept, I will do one thing what it is. Inside the method test 3, test 2, I am writing a small if condition. What is the if condition, you know? Very simple. If i is equals to 50, I am trying to simulate it, that is it. Okay? Thread class contains a method called as sleep. And if at all, I am just going to pass some value, you know, 5000. What is that 5000? Uh, 5000 means 5 seconds. The sleep is a static method which will make the current executing thread to sleep and the current executing thread is main thread and that is the one and only one thread that executes in the code now. So, now main thread is executing the first method coming to second method printing up to 50 
after printing 50 it was sent to sleep for 5 seconds okay so when it's sent to sleep for 5 seconds 5 seconds this thread is not functioning this thread is not functioning and remember this 5 seconds of time what you are wasting here will not allow the third method also to execute why until and unless the second method execution is completed it will not execute the third method so compulsory the second method execution should be completed to reach the third method watch watch the output if you notice the output recompile the code and you can just see it stopped off at 50 waiting for 5 seconds after 5 seconds it will restart again see there you stopped at 50 uh, we will we'll add some commands there there console dot right line main thread going to sleep and now the main thread woke up okay fine let us re-execute the program yes main thread went to sleep it wakes up after 5 seconds wakes up after 5 seconds and then the test 2 method continued and until and unless the test 2 method execution is completed notice it test 3 method did not execute until and unless the test 2 method execution is completed you can just clearly notice the test 3 method is not executed so that is the drawback in the single threaded model right now we simulated with a simple thread dot sleepy but tomorrow when you are working in the real time um, anything can happen you went to your server server not responding server busy anything can happen and because of that a method execution may get delayed and when it is delayed when it is delayed if you just understand the rest of the actions will not take place because it was running in a single threaded model so this is the drawback what you have in case of a single threaded model so right now till now whatever programs you have written all the programs are running in this single threaded model only. so this is the drawback now how to overcome this to overcome this particular problem we are provided with a concept of multi-threading so what is this multi-threading multi-threading in the sense under a process right now we have one thread to execute and that thread is executing the code but a process can contain more than one thread in it also to execute means under one process we can have multiple threads see same thing I have a process under the process we can have multiple threads where each thread is a trying to perform a different action what is it uh, simply speaking the three methods what we defined in our program can be executed by three separate threads not by using a single thread we can execute by using three separate threads so what is the advantage what are the advantages the execution takes place the execution takes place uh, simultaneously what exactly is that simultaneously actually when there are multiple threads to run in a program what will happen is operating system is going to allocate some time period for each thread to execute means it will share the time between each thread to execute how much time that is not in our control operating system will take care suppose there are three threads to execute okay so operating system is going to share the time between each thread and based on the time sharing all the threads are going to execute for you equally means if you run this code in a multi-threaded model okay you will not see first test one afterwards test two after afterwards test three what we'll see we will see test one test two test three all the three getting executed for you means not only one means all methods will be given equal importance to execute 
that is the advantage what you have in case of your multi threading ok. So, when there are multiple threads to execute multiple methods suppose three threads are executing three methods in that scenario if any one thread or if any one method is taking more time to execute the time will not be wasted for us the other two threads will be still running in the code that is the advantage what you have in the multi threading. So, basically the multi threading works based on time sharing it works based on time sharing means all the threads that are created under the process will be given equal importance to execute and the main idea of multi threading is maximum utilization of CPU resources. advantage is maximum utilization of CPU resources. So, that is what ok. We will see how to just use this particular multi threading in our next video ok. That is all for today. Thank you for watching the video. For more videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel Naresh IT.